Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am currently overlooking Gerudo Desert. Uh, there looks like there's a divine beast down here. It also looks like there is a thing down here. What did it say it is? Oh, it hasn't got a name. There's a mystery place with no name that I wanted to investigate as well. There's also a, a bunch of, uh, of shrines and other kind of goodies uh, around this area as well. So let's literally, I guess, <laughs> jump in and uh, let's see uh, what we will be able to discover today. Oh, look at all. Oh, look down. Oh, let's go down this way. Oh, look at this. I did not see uh, this in the, the last episode. They're like a bunch of giant statues. Do you reckon this is one of those, those like kind of challenge trial thingies that I'm going to need to complete? I feel like it must be. I feel like that's probably what it is. It's annoying. I, I was going to go over that way because that's where the shrines and other stuff is. But look at all this stuff over here. There's the, the tower in that direction there. For a desert, there's quite a lot going in. And that almost certainly is the the next divine beast it's almost like a like a camel divine beast that one which is uh ah, certainly uh very different from the the ones of uh, our face before but all right what what is this oh there's like a um it's like a little propeller thing oh is this a, is this a korok thing i think this might be a korok thing down here can i like oh let's not let's not waste a flame arrow on just the the korok shall we uh let's see if we can oh Okay, let's waste a flame arrow. No, don't waste another flame arrow. No, stop it. Stop it. Put it away. Put it away. Let's <laughs> let's go and actually get out the, the, the normal arrows. And let's see if we can shoot that thing. I think that is what it is. I think it is a, a Korok thing. Do I need to just shoot one, though? Oh, I do. This was literally the perfect place for, for me to, to land to, to find that. Speaking of Korok seeds, you may notice that I lost a bunch. And that isn't because I actually lost a bunch. It's, uh... What is this place, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah, it's basically because, um... I got a bunch of upgrades. I upgraded uh, my... I didn't upgrade my weapon slot, like my main one. But I upgraded my bow and my shield a whole bunch. So as you can see, I can now store a whole bunch more things and won't be completely running out of my inventory all the time, apart from weapons. <laughs> all right then, so what, what is this then? So does this do anything? There's a, there's a thing here. Doesn't seem to do much. Then there's an orb here as well. Do I need to, to lift? Okay, that, that seems to be metal. Do I need to, like, knock them down, do you think, and then put them in? I'm, I'm more, Yeah, okay. That looks like what I need to do. It looks like I need to get them all down there and put them in the, the hole. So it looks like there's going to be a, a whole load of climbing around on these that I'm going to, to need to, to do. Let's climb up to the, the top of this one and then try and get across. These are really, like, Egyptian, aren't they? They kind of remind me of, like, the, the giant Egyptian, like, statues, kind of like the, the Sphinx or something. So uh, let's go and climb onto the top of this one and then go across to the, the next one because... Oh, hopefully I didn't miss one on that one. It looks like we're okay on that front. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's definitely something going on in this one. The only thing that... I don't really know is what what are the, these got to do something. There's these these yellow lights here that I, I couldn't really seem to do anything with. I mean, should I try firing an arrow at one? Is that no? I don't think that anything was going to happen. And now I lost an arrow. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's climb up into the the top of here and let's go up to the top of here. It definitely looks like there would be a reason to to climb up here because they added the the ladder. Well, maybe not actually. Maybe there isn't a reason to to climb up here. I mean, there's another one of those little lights, but I don't know what they they do yet. Tell you what, let's just go down. We can always use Ravali's Gale to, to get up here pretty quickly. Anyway, uh, but let's just go and try and work out what's going on here. Because there's just sort of there's like this as well. And then weird shapes on their, their feet and stuff. And oh, are there like different symbols on them, do you think? Maybe I need to make sure I put them in the, the right ones. Let's just try putting this inside uh, of any of these down here. And let's see what, what happens. Because there's like patterns on these little orbs as well. Is this going to do anything? Okay, it didn't do like a a nice satisfying ding or anything. Like I was hoping for like a di ding di ding or you know, just some sort of sound to let me know I did it right. But yeah, if you look here, it looks like there's only on one of them, but there's yeah, there's a symbol on there, which I guess is going to, to line up to, to which one I need to, to put in. But it looks like a lot of the, the symbols are missing, which is gonna be part of the, the challenge. And oh, okay, there's a symbol down there. That one seems to be like two blocks. This one's two circles. Oh, is that the two circle one? No, they all have that there. And then what do we have? What do we have down here? Is those 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 yellow lights just have to do something, but I don't know what they what they're about. So this one seems to be if I can pull it out of the, the sand. This one's kind of like Pac-Man, I guess, a little bit. Well, not really, but <laughs> kind of a, a squiggly shape. Can I see any of them that have a squiggly shape on them? Maybe on the, the tops up there. No, that one hasn't got anything on. 
That one hasn't got anything there. It seems like all of the ones that do have symbols, I can't find the, the orbs for. Let's go and check this one down here. I think that's what it's all about. I think it's all about just working out what the symbols are. So maybe for some of them, I'm going to have to, to climb up to, to find the symbols. I also need to, to make sure I can find enough of these these orbs as well because these seem to be kind of like a little bit hidden all over the the place uh, as well which might be a bit of a, an extra challenge and all this one's really really dug into the sand lift it up lift it up there we go i was able to to break this uh this one free so this one's the the kind of v shape so well, let's just let's just for now gather all of, all of these up into the the middle and all of the ones that i can work out where to, to go i'll put them in now and then i'll kind of just see what's re remaining and we might be able to do a lot of them just kind of by the the process of elimination Okay, I found all of the, the orbs. They actually weren't too difficult. I was worried because one of them that I found on the top up there was pretty hidden. And I was worried that all of the rest would be just as hidden. But I have all of the orbs. So that is step one of the, the puzzle completed. Now I just need to, to find out where they where they go. So some of them we can see from down here. Okay, so this, this one is the up the way dust is the two little lines so the two little line one i'm assuming uh needs to to go down here so let's find uh, oh it's this one it's this one right here okay jolly good so let's go and put this one already away down in there i believe that one's correct and oh i didn't get a little dingling i was really hoping for a little sound or just some little nod that i put it in the the right one but whichever ones can i put in for for sure so that one almost looks like a bit of a, of a scroll or something uh, let's go and see. Ah, I think that is this one here. So that one uh, needs to, to drop down into to here. So I believe that's uh, at least two of them that I feel pretty confident uh, are in the, the right place. Right. Are there any more that I can see from down here? Ah, up here, up here. Oh, no, that one's not filled in. <laughs> oh, this one up here, though, is uh, two little... Oh, that's where I got my little Korok guy from. Uh, yeah, that one's up there. Two circles. So let's go and grab the, the one with two circles on, which is down here. This is going to be another one, which we know. And oh, I think the one I was looking at then as well, that I could see which one that one was going to, to be. So it looks like this might not be, assuming I'm doing this right, might not be too <laughs> difficult uh, after all then. I am probably going to have to, to climb up at some point, though, because I reckon some of the, the symbols... I might not be able to, to see from above. And if I end up with just like two left that I don't know where they go, I can just do it through the process of elimination. Like I just need to switch around two at that point. It'd be pretty easy. Uh, but this is the this is the one that I called Pac-Man, even though it looks absolutely nothing like Pac-Man. I couldn't see it properly. Leave me alone. <laughs> and I believe that one is this one down here. So this one needs to go into to this one here. Now there's only three left that I need to, to be able to, to find. So let's go and climb up on top of one of them then, shall we? So which one's going to be the the easiest one for me to climb on top of? I guess this one over here had the, the scaffolding. But it probably makes sense for me to climb up the ones that I haven't, I can't see the symbols on. And then they, these two here, I can't see the, the symbols on either of them from down here. Ah, actually, oh, I can't look up high enough. What What's that? I can see that's where the symbol is. I just about can't see it though. Okay, let's climb up and then we can definitely see what that symbol is and hopefully look across to the, the next one and see. Oh no, I can see that one. Okay, that one's a little round circle. That one's the, the polo one. <laughs> so yeah, I do, I believe though, need to, to climb up on this one uh, to see what the, the symbols here is going to be. And I think... It might be low enough for me to use Ravali's Gale all the way to this little walkway above the walkway. No worries. Let's just go and drop down here. And then we can go and make doubly sure which one this one is. And then we know which one the, the polo one is. And then I think we should be pretty, pretty much done. So that's like a an arrow uh, pointing up for, for that one. I guess the um the little yellow like lights don't really mean anything. So that one's an arrow. And that one opposite is kind of like a, a leaf, I guess. Okay, good information. This is actually all we need. I got it enough to, to work this out now. No problems whatsoever. It took a little bit of time. <laughs> Just kind of getting it around the place. But the actual puzzle was easy, easy enough. So this one is the polo one. Needs to go down inside of here. I'm getting better at using these powers, like the, the magnesis and stuff. And it's one of these over here. Uh, I think it's this one down here. Uh, it needs to, to go into there. And I think this should be right. Is it going to do anything? Is it not going to do anything? I'm sure this was right. Did, did one of them, like, not fall in properly? This this had to have been right. Let me go and check. Yeah, it's definitely dropped in there. That one is the... Yeah, the weird leaf shape. This is the leaf... Oh, I didn't switch the... Oh, is this the arrow? Ah. 
Okay, I did this wrong. I think I got the, the arrow and the leaf wrong. Like, I'm good. I'm glad that I got it wrong. Because if I didn't get it wrong, <laughs> and I actually did put them where I thought they were, then that means that I got the entire puzzle wrong rather than accidentally switching these around. They look pretty similar, to be fair. That does look like an arrow, but I guess it's kind of the, the more leafy shape. Right, let's put this one in here. And now this is the, the, the real moment of truth. Hopefully... Uh, this one is going to, to be correct. So it is this one here, isn't it? Or is it the one slightly to the, the left? Let's just see which one hasn't got one in. It is... It is, it is this one. Okay, let's go and plop this inside of the ground. <laughs> let's plop this inside of here. And hopefully now we're going to get our little dingling. And so it's going to happen all. Oh, the camera's froze. That's a good sign. Well, not a dingling, but we've got a rumble. Do you reckon it's going to make a shrine appear from the middle? I reckon it's going to make a shrine appear from the middle. It always, make a sh it always makes a shrine appear from the middle. Here it comes. Up comes the shrine. So the big question now, though, is, is this going to be a happy present shrine where it's just going to give me something good? Or is it going to, to be uh, a shrine where they're going to make me do even more work? <laughs> to be honest, I think I'd prefer a shrine where I need to do more work because I really enjoy the shrines. This like So this moment here, like moments like this, is just my favorite part out of this game. Like the divine beasts are cool. The, the battling is fun and stuff, but my favorite thing is just discovering a thing and there's no text or anything and you just got to work out a puzzle, but it doesn't say like, hey, here's a puzzle. This is what you need to do. Can you work it out? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. It just <laughs> throws you in like a random area. It doesn't even throw you in there. You just show up by yourself and you decide, all right, I want to solve this and then you just do it. I just love it. That's just my favorite part about this game. And oh no, don't give, give me a shield or something. I don't have room for all of this stuff. What can I get rid of? So I've got an axe and I'm going to keep that because I use that for all of my mining stuff. I suppose I could get rid of this boomerang. Oh, let me... My boomerang? My boomerang. Let me just show you something really cool for this, though, which I found out when I thought was amazing. I saw a video of this uh, online. No, no, no. Not this. Not this. No, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm always going to make a mistake. So you get the boomerang out. If you throw it, you can then use mag... Oh. <laughs> I guess don't throw it into, into a wall. You can probably see where this is going, though. And it's annoying. I was going to do it against an enemy, but it's definitely the, the worst weapon I have on me right now because I want to keep the, the axe and the uh, the other stuff. So throw throw the boomerang. Get out. Oh. One last go. I'm going to have one last go of this. Maybe, maybe I should try this outdoors, but I really need to, to get this thing. So maybe I'll throw it up a little bit higher, and then it might have... <laughs> These stupid pillows! Pillows? Pillows everywhere. They're really messing it up. Right, I'm gonna have one last final go. If I go all the way up at the, the top here and throw it up there, hopefully it's not gonna hit anything. So it links around to the left, and then you wanna grab it with. Oh. <laughs> I think I used to be fair, I think I was meant to use Magnesis. Right. Throw it up to here, get Magnesis, and then grab it, and then. Oh, am I doing it? Oh, okay. It hit the ground, but basically. We can stay spinning. So what you'll do is you if you were better than I am, or outside, <laughs> you'll grab it and it would stay spinning. And because it's still spinning, it would basically be almost like a propeller blade or something. And then you could just go up to enemies and it'd be going like, whoa, 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 and you could just take them all out. It's not really an effective way to battle because you have to walk around really slowly and it does okay damage and stuff. It's just a really cool way to, to fight. So I just wanted to, to show you that that's a cool thing that you could do. I failed with my explanation considering I was inside of a, of a shrine and I wanted to, to pick up the, the flame sphere. But you get the idea i've shown enough so you know what you need to, to do so if you go and uh, do a little bit of practice you should be able to, to do this oh what's this hot springs these last flammable baths are found throughout the world you can relax in them for a while to replenish your hearts oh okay i thought it might be talking about the um the area we're about to, to head to because that kind of looked like it might be a, a hot spring it looks like a hot something at least <laughs> right then so that is where we're we're heading to there so uh, i guess um i guess if i kind of just line up in that direction uh, so I just want to go a little bit more left. Uh, I'll see it uh, as soon as I kind of get out of this little bit that I've tunneled myself into. This is a place where I'd love to, to have a horse right now. I've kind of ditched having a, a horse throughout most of the, the game. Basically just because of this. Like, I'm always gliding around everywhere and I'm constantly stopping off to try and find things. And I know that if I had a horse, I'll just kind of blast through everything and miss all of the Korok seeds rather than most of the, the Korok seeds, which is what I do at the, the moment. <laughs> and so I kind of think it's just more fun to, to go on foot. The only exception might be when I'm trying to make my way across the, the desert. The thing I'm worried about is, is how hot is it going to be? I mean, it's very hot now, but I'm surviving. I'm doing like, it might, I'm not getting damaged just for being here. I'm just curious about when I kind of head a little bit further out into the, the desert. Is it going to get even hotter than it is now? Definitely not as hot as, a, as Death Mountain. That is a, a plus, but it might get behind. Whoa, look at it. 
What is it? Is it supposed to be a camel? It's got really... Okay, I can't even see it now, but it's got really long legs. And it almost looks like it has a trunk, just like Varuta. Right, we have a, a Korok puzzle to do here. I think I just need to take this middle one out from here, don't I? Oh, can I not do that? Hmm. It seems to be like a, a stone one. Maybe if I use stasis on it, I might be able to, to knock it out that way. Oh, it's not letting me do that either. Oh, how do I... Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't need to knock one out. I need to put one in that side. So normally when you find like these little puzzles like this, there's two statues and you basically need to, to match them up so that they're the same. And yeah, so I just need to discover where the, the other one is. So let's go and... Uh, oh, no. Wrong thing again. <laughs> I got a bit mixed up. I know what's going on. Is it going to blast me? Don't blast me. Please. Please, Divine Beast. Don't do it. Oh, oh it's, targeting, it's targeting me. It's targeting me. Do I, need, I need to get to cover. Oh, no, get down, get down, get down, get down. Am I, am I in cover? Are we good? Are we good? Are we safe? Oh, do I need to go when there's a dust cloud and it won't see me? Right, let's uh, let's be quick and let's keep my, my stamina up in case I need to do another mad dash like that. I know I can't reach it. I can't reach it with my magnesis. Right, let's go and kind of stay a little bit behind the rock as we go up here. Okay, it looks like I've worked out what the, the problem is because these divine beasts, remember, they're not evil. They were like built to, to help us battling Calamity Ganon, but they've all just got a bit corrupted. So I think I've I've worked out what the, the issue with this uh, this particular fellow might be and why <laughs> this one might need helping. Forgetting the fact is we're going to use it to, to help us battle Ganon. And oh, this is like, this is like those games that like babies have where they've got to try and fit the, the, the shape into the gap. <laughs> I was never good at those games, as you can tell. All right, go on, go in, go in. That's it. Oh, really? Really? I just put it through to the other side. Or at least I'm kind of in cover a little bit from uh, <laughs> from that divine beast. Come on, come this way, this way, this way. Okay, let's let's go back a little bit. Line it up perfectly and then move it back. Oh, no. And in. And up a little bit maybe and then in. And in. And in. And down a bit and in. And up a bit and oh no. Is it targeting me? Is it, oh, it's good. it is. It is. It's targeting me. Go, 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 go. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. You can't see me. You can't. Oh, no, it can see me. It can see me. Right, let's get right down here. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> I need to get that little block in place. I'm not going to leave it, am I? But I need to be really careful of that thing. Maybe I shouldn't go for that place then. Maybe it's going to be a bit too much of a, of a risk trying to, to make my way across here. I just need to get this block in. Like, I can't leave. There's a Korok seed right here. And it, like, I, it obviously fits in. I mean, I put it straight through the middle. I just need to do it. Oh, is that it? Nope. <laughs> I, I thought I put it in there that I couldn't really see from the angle I was in. Right. Line it up. I don't know whether to, like, try and push it forward or walk forward. Oh, this is good. Is that good? Now push it forward a little bit and a little bit more. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love the way, like, I struggled more with the puzzle of put the block in the gap than I did with, like, that giant statue puzzle. Right then, so where where is this, um... Where is this place? So that's the, the East Gerudo, Ru Gerudo Ruins. So I want to go like this way, which is like that direction, but a little bit left. I'm just a bit worried because of that because of that big fellow. Uh, the temperature is getting very high. Find a way to cool down. Are you going to take... Oh, it is too hot here as well. Okay, so I believe I got some lovely uh, cooling uh, cooling outfits. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, that's not cooling. That's um That's the opposite of cooling. Do I have any, like, frost weapons on me? Oh, yeah, the great frost. If I hold this... Ah, okay, that's good. So I got it. I can't let go of the sword. If I let go of the, the sword, then I am done for. So I really need to, to get an outfit to, to allow me to survive here. So when I went for Divine Meadow, uh, I was able to, to get the, the outfit from the, the town, the Rito village. So I'm hoping that if I find like a, a village around here, they're going to sell me an outfit to allow me to survive in the, the heat. Because I need to do that anyway for um the other divine beast that I, I discovered up Death Mountain. So it looks like I need to, to do that anyway. So if I'm going to be able to get that here, that's going to be very helpful. And oh, no, 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 I can hide behind here. Luckily, there are, oh, no, can it still see me? You can still see me. How can you see me? Look, I'm hiding right down here. No, what? I thought if I hid, it wouldn't be able to, to get me. Well, that is just outrageous. <laughs> okay, let's have something to eat. Maybe give myself a, a bit of a... Oh, I was going to say give me myself some bonus hearts. I gave myself literally one bonus heart. But let's go and let's go and burst my way up. And then I should be able to see where I'm heading to. Oh, I can't see anything. I guess that... Oh, no. I'm taking screenshots. Didn't mean to, to do that. Yeah, um... 
Yes, basically in a straight line here. I'm staying slightly to the, the right, because there might be some, some more things that I can hide to. But I seem to be heading in the right direction. There seems to be a bit of a lightning storm over here as well, which is a worry, because if I get caught in the lightning storm, I need to, to drop my metal weapons, which is a problem, because I need to, to hold my metal weapons, otherwise I would be um, <laughs> too hot. It's amazing how much this sword is cooling me down, though, because I was, like, getting hurt. I was so hot. And now, like, I'm completely down, like, near the, the cold side than the, the hot side. So having just this sword on my on my back is really, really helping me out. But I'm getting scared now because the thing is right over there. And we seem to be uh, yeah, right out in the, the open and the dust cloud is about to, to pass. So let's go over to here as fast as we can. And what's it? Is this like a flamingo? Oh, there's like flamingo type birds. Not actually flamingos, but similar to, to flamingos. I need to get there as fast as I can. Should I should I go and glide there? Maybe I should go and glide. Is that going to be quicker or is that going to be slower? It kind of puts me a little bit out in the open. Oh, but there's, there's a shrine. There's a shrine. Well, let's just get to the shrine. And oh, by the way, I set my little tracker thing. You can see it dinging. I set it to pick up shrine. So basically, anytime I'm near a shrine, it's going to, to go off. Uh, and then that way... I'm going to know that I'm close to it. So that is going to be extremely useful for the, the future. Yeah, you know what? I think I know what this is. I think this is where there's all the... um. Oh, what are these things? <laughs> They're like these weird walrus things. I think this is where all of the ladies live. Are they the ladies? Yeah, the ladies. I can't remember what their, their name is, but um, they're in... Um, I can't remember where they were first. I think they were first in um, Ocarina of Time. They were definitely in Majora's Mask a lot. You kind of get uh, trapped inside of a, of a prison and you need to escape. Or was that Ocarina of Time? No, I think that was Majora's Mask. But anyway, yeah. So they're, they're, they're in it and they basically imprison you and there's like kind of like a stealth sequence and you need to escape. And it's actually a pretty annoying part of the, the game but yeah I think that is them I suddenly uh, recognized exactly uh, where it is that I that I was but yeah if I do this right here, not only am I going to be able to get myself a uh, another spirit orb, I'm also uh, going to be able to, to quick travel here whenever I want, so I am not going to have to, to trek across the giant desert every time I want to get here. Anyway, the whole picture these things are getting weirder and weirder and weirder. What is this thing? <laughs> I guess it's something to do with electricity by the, the looks of things. That is the, the end of the, the shrine there. So it looks like I'm trying to open that gate there. But there's a few other gates that I'm trying to open as well. Oh, that one's got the um the, the chest in it. And that one's got a barrel in it by the looks of things. And then there's these marks along the, the floor here. There's a giant cube that I can move around. If I put that on the floor, does that do anything? Not by the looks of things at all. There's a barrel here. So maybe putting the barrel down, is that going to do so? Oh, ah, it got electric. Okay. So what happens if I put another barrel on the other side there? Is there another barrel for starters? One that I have access to at this point. Okay, there's another big block there. I think I'm going to need to use these blocks to transfer electricity to try and get it to, to where it needs to, to go. So let's try and open the, the one where the, the, the chest is in first then, shall we? So I need, let's move this out of the way so I can actually see what it is that I'm doing. Whoop, you can go over there. So this one, it goes to, to here and then goes. So I need to get this one linked here. So let's go and put the, the, the box here, uh, which is going to, oh, I knocked my barrel out of the way. <laughs> and so that is going to, to link these guys up here like that. And then... I need it to go to... So I need these two to be linked here. So I need this barrel to be there like that. Maybe I should get the chest later. Let's let's try and get these other barrels and stuff out first then. So this one goes to here. So it's these ones that need to be linked up to, to open that doorway there. So let's go and move this big box to, to this like here. And then it's this one that I need to, to get linked up. So if I put the barrel in between them both... Ah! That does work, and that should open the, the gate here, and that's going to allow me uh, to, to get a, another barrel. Okay, I, I, can, I, I understand the rules of this puzzle. Let's see if I can solve it. So now, do I have enough stuff in order to, to be able to, to get the chest? I think I should do. So this uh, box needs to get brought back to, to here. And then I need, ah, I need another barrel. You know what I might be able to do? This is a bit of a long shot, but if I if I drop this sword, because this is a pretty big sword, if I drop this right between the two, that might, ah, I electrocuted myself. <laughs> I didn't drop it exactly where I wanted to, to drop it, but maybe if I go like a little bit more like, oh, wrong button. <laughs> if I go, wrong button again. If I go and drop it like this here, oh, okay, it kind of drops behind me, which is a little bit odd. So maybe if I stand here, and then drop it there like that. Oh, okay. I electrocuted myself, 
but it's all part of the process because I was able to basically cheat the puzzle and then get this uh, this bonus chest over here. <laughs> Maybe I should have something to eat because I feel like I'm going to keep electrocuting myself here. Well, do I have any food which give, gives me like resistance to electricity? I don't know if I do or not. Well, what does it even look like, the, the food to have? I think I probably did, but I probably sold it because I probably thought I wouldn't need it very much. And now it's exactly what I do need. I might actually have some clothes that have resistance to, to electricity, though. Ah, rubber armor. Very, very convenient. And then let's just eat any old food just to, to get my, yeah, just to get my hearts up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> right, from the, the chest, please be a, a bow or a shield. Don't make me have to drop something. Oh, not a thunder blade. Oh. Okay. Oh, I do have room for it, only because my other sword is still down here. So what am I going to end up keeping? Um, I got a great thunder blade, so I don't really need the thunder blade, do I? Should I have that or the fire? Let's keep the, the spear and let's drop the, the thunder blade. So all of that work to get that chest and I didn't even end up keeping it. Right then, so it looks like now we're going to need to work out how to, to open up the uh, the chest on the other side. So we're probably going to need that that barrel down there. I mean, I could probably do it with the, the swords and stuff, but I think it might be easier just to, to use the, the barrel and stuff. <laughs> I mean, what I should have done is just thrown the sword down anyway, uh, anywhere and then use the, the magne uh, magnesis to, to move it, I guess. But I was trying to be clever. Right then, so this barrel is probably going to have to go here. I don't really need to, to look what ones I'm trying to, to link up. I can kind of just play around and just <laughs> put these down in the, the gaps and assume this is eventually going to, to work. So this one is going to go down. Oh, no, not here. Well, I guess it could go there, but I need to do this one first. So let's go and do that there. Make sure it is going to, to link up. Did I have another barrel? Is there another barrel around here? Could I use... Do you reckon the chest would work? I think, I think the chest might actually work. This could be a really clever way of doing this. If this works, then I am literally a genius. And I think it should work. It is metal. There we go. I can just use the, the chest to, to cheat with this one. Ha! A different way to, to cheat, but cheating all of the, the same. It's not cheating. It's all part of the game. Right, then this chest should be able to link up to here. Then that's going to link up a whole bunch of stuff, that one there. So that one's gone up to, to that light up there. And aha, I need to light up this light here as well, by the looks of things. But it looks like I can only link it up with a chest, if that makes sense. So I can now grab this chest and uh, bring it to this crate or box or whatever we want to, to call this thing. That needs to go and get put down on this side there like that. And now I just need to, to link up the, the trail to, to light it up. Oh, I've already done it. It's already linked up. And that's the shrine done. I've completed it. Yay me! Pat me on the back! <laughs> I, I was good. I was good in that. You have to be honest. And oh, oh yeah, I wasn't going to keep that, was I? That one can stay on the, the floor down there. Let's avoid these giant electric boxes, shall we? And make our way to the, the end. So there we go! We arrived at where we wanted to, to go. We completed a pretty difficult challenge with those statues. We completed this, uh, this shrine as well. Got a whole load of goodies and spirit orbs. And we had our first proper glimpse of the, the next divine beast that I'm going to be hunting down in the, the future. Well, trying to, trying to save and go inside of and uh, and purify in the the future is a, a nicer way to, to do it but anyway that is going to be the the end of this episode here i've been trying to make these videos a little bit longer a lot of people have been commenting saying that I upload too slow and the videos aren't long enough. I know I've mentioned this before. So I've been trying to upload more regularly and to do the videos a little bit longer. I just don't want to do like big hour long episodes just because it's really difficult to, to watch sometimes. I'd rather kind of do it in these short bites. Also, if I recorded for much longer than I do, I'd end up just losing my voice. So <laughs> that's another reason why I can't record uh, for so long. Like unless I spoke like this, which I think would make everybody fall asleep. <laughs> and I don't want to, to do that either. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Looks like there's loads of places to explore, someone to talk to, a whole town to go to there. So plenty of things for, for me to, to try and discover in the, the future. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!